how to use the power within you. Every human being born on the planet Earth have power that will enable him to get whatever he wants and enjoy this life for as long as he wants. This truth may baffle you, no human being has more power than the other, human life is the same, black or white. All human beings are created by God and are equally empowered by Him to get whatever they want on planet Earth. This is very clear when you study history of man and study nature. No man is more endowed than the other. When you see a man who is advancing more than his fellow human being, you are looking at a man who has paid the price. Let me start by reminding you the beginning of man. In the book of Genesis chapter 1, God made man after he had created all things that man would ever need to be successful and enjoy his gift of life from God. Remember that man was created last, his shelter was created first, then his food was created in different forms. Man was created and commissioned by God to live a full life devoid of stress and oppression of any form. We are told in the Bible that God bless man, meaning mankind because future men are potentially inside the first man. If God blessed the first man and said to him, be 1. Fruitful 2. And multiply 3. And replenish the earth 4. And subdue it, the earth 5 and have dominion over everything on earth. Then God is saying it to you and to me because we were all potentially inside the first man. It logically implies that if any man is given power to subdue the earth, you are that man. To understand what I am driving at, you should understand that God's word once spoken continues to abide forever. God does not change neither does his word. If he blessed the first man, it means he blessed the human race and that blessing exists forever. Remember that God's gifts and callings are without repentance, meaning that God does not take back any blessing or gift he gave out. You will therefore agree with me that these five-fold blessing that God gave to the first man is not only given to Adam but to human race of men and women black or white because we all invariably came from Adam. If the blessing is for mankind or human race, it means that the blessing is available to all. The blessing upon mankind is fivefold as stated in Genesis 1:28, which includes fruitfulness, multiplication, fill the earth or replenish it, subdue every opposition and challenges to his life and well-being and of course to have dominion over all the earth. These blessings implies that every man can have whatsoever he desires. It means that nothing is created or permitted to put man under because man has been blessed and empowered to subdue all things on the earth. Poverty, sicknesses, diseases, and so on are forces on earth that God had blessed man to subdue or have dominion over. Any situation that bows a man or reduces him is an error which must be corrected because no matter how tough the situation is, there is power in every man to subdue it. Every man is given the same potential and power as others and no one is more endowed than the others. As mentioned earlier, any man who is advancing more than his fellows has discovered this secret power which many are obviously ignorant of. Let me make it abundantly clear to you, no one has accomplished any great success that you too cannot attain. No matter how high any man has gone on planet earth, you have the same power to do and even do better. This truth cannot be overemphasized. man has not attained to perfection in any profession and so whatever feat a man has attained. Others are coming up to outdo and outperform the ones we call the best today. The point I am making is simple and clear, every man is given equal power, no one is better than the other and whatever success any man has attained, another man, which can be you, can do much better. In conclusion, know this and accept it as a divine truth that you have the power that any man on earth has ever had, you have the same potential as any man you consider the greatest. Think about this, if Jesus Christ the Son of the living God can say, The works that I do shall ye do, and greater works than these shall ye do because I go to the Father John 14 12. What then has any man done that can be an unbeatable record? If you desire anything that any man has ever done, you can do it, you have the same potential as any man. Believe it, accept it and begin to do something about it. The world is not looking for a man who seeks to beat a record but the one who seeks to make or create a record. You are that person, go out and shine, the world is waiting for you.